welcome to the MC Grammar Show with me, Mr. M, aka MC Grammar. Leon's behind the camera in charge of production and today we're learning all about commas and how to use them in a list. Check out the song. Whenever I write a list, I know that I must use this to separate what exists. What is it? Say it loud, do it now. It's a comma. Whenever I write a list, I know that I must use this to separate what exists. What is it? Say it loud, do it now. It's a comma. Let's dance. Stop. Comma. Left foot. Comma. Right foot. Comma. Crisscross comma, jump back comma, hands up comma, turn around and finish how you wanna go again. Stop comma, left foot comma, right foot comma, crisscross comma, jump back comma, hands up comma, turn around and finish how you wanna go again. Whenever I write a list, I know that I must use this to separate what exists. What is it? Say it loud. I hope you were dancing to that one and you now know all of the moves. Okay, you need your pen, pencil, paper or your tablet, your thinking cap on, which means you're ready to be focused for the lesson and you're going to keep it positive, which means you're cool with making mistakes and you know it's part of the learning process. Speaking of learning, let's take it to the board. Let's use the rap song to teach us everything we need to know. And it goes like this. Whenever I write a list, I know that I must use this to separate what exists. What is it? Say it loud. Do it now. It's a comma. Hopefully you were shouting back comma there. So straight away we know that a comma is used to separate items, things or actions in a list. And we have an example of a list right here. He was wearing a t-shirt, a hat, tracksuit bottoms, gold trainers and shades. There's a problem. There's no commas. There's no separations. There's no pauses. It's just really confusing, right? So you need to go back on this list when you finish the lesson and fix that for me. Let's take a look at some good examples of lists that pop up in the song. The first one reads, let's dance. And you notice we have a colon after let's dance. Why? Because a colon is a great way to introduce a list. As long as you remember the golden rule, you have to have a main clause or a complete thought before the colon. Right, let's get into the list. It reads, stop comma, left foot, comma, right foot, comma, crisscross, comma, jump back, comma, hands up, comma, turn around and finish how you wanna. We've got a great example of a list there. The comma is used to separate those actions. You also notice we finish on the word wanna, right? Which isn't the correct English or standard or formal English, but it's a great example of how you can use certain words, colloquial contractions, in an informal setting for a specific type of audience. So remember that, you can also bend the rules once you know them. Okay, let's get into the second list and talk about the differences here. We've got another one that starts with a, a colon. It says, go again, a main clause there, complete thought, colon to introduce the list, stop, comma, left foot, comma, right foot, comma, crisscross, comma, jump back, comma, hands up, comma, turn around, comma this time, and finish how you wanna. Why do we have a comma on this list after turn around, but not on the first list? That's because this one is called an Oxford comma. When you put the comma before the and at the end of a sent at the end of a list, sorry, it's called an Oxford comma. A lot of people don't do that, but it's a great opportunity here to talk about the Oxford comma with some examples. Let's have a look at some examples now. Okay, without the Oxford comma, it reads, I love my family, comma. Arsene Wenger and Thierry Henry. So my intention is to write a list about things that I love, okay? The problem here is I have, I love my family, comma, Arsene Wenger and Thierry Henry. Now that suggests that my family are, are involves or includes Arsene Wenger and Thierry Henry. Now as much as I'd love that to happen or to be the case as I am a big Arsenal fan, it isn't the case. I'm trying to get across to my audience here that I love my family. I also love Arsene Wenger and I also love Thierry Henry. 
And this is where the Oxford comma helps. In the second example, we have I love my family comma, Arsene Wenger comma, and Thierry Henry. It gives us that separation. So this is a great example of how you can use an Oxford comma, you know, to be clear with your audience. Here's an, a second example. I had eggs comma, sausages comma, beans, Oxford comma, and toast and marmalade. Now, I have the Oxford comma here because toast and marmalade go together. If I put the, if I don't have that comma there, I end up with, I had eggs, comma, sausages, comma, beans, and toast, and marmalade. Well, toast and marmalade go together, so to separate them, I have that comma before. And the last example, to avoid a bit of confusion, and a bad taste, I would say, it says, I had eggs, comma, tomatoes, comma, toast, Oxford comma, and orange juice. If we take away the Oxford comma, and have, I had eggs, tomatoes, toast and orange juice, that suggests the orange juice is on your toast, or you might be dipping that toast into orange juice. Now, I don't know about you guys, everyone's got their own preference, but I'm not into that. I wanna get across that my toast is separate to my orange juice, my orange juice is on the side. And that's an ex excellent example there of how you can use an Oxford comma to, you know, to be clear with your reader and get your true intention across. Cool? Right, that's how you use a comma for a list. Let's get into our first mic check, let's go. Time for our first mic check and your time to shine. Right, we have a picture from one of our previous lessons and two examples here. Example number one reads, the sewer was overflowing with danger. There's our colon to introduce the list. Live wires, broken glass, deep ditches, ominous shadows and a screeching sound. Ah, there's no commas in there. Let's check out the next one. Then it emerged from the shadows. Colon, introduce the list. Wow, main clause before it. Razor sharp teeth, thick fur, luminous eyes and nails that curled like snakes. What do you have to do? You have to add the commas. Example one, add the commas but no Oxford comma. Example two down the bottom there, add the commas and that Oxford comma. I'm going to disappear for about a minute and then we'll have a look at the answers. Off you go. Time to look at the answers there. So you can see we've got our first comma after the first item in our, in our list. Live wires, broken glass, next comma, deep ditches, comma, ominous shadows, and we don't have that comma there before the and, and the screeching sound. The second example, you can see we have the comma after razor sharp teeth, thick fur, comma, luminous eyes, comma, before the and, nails that curled like snakes. You've got two examples of list there, one with an optional comma, one without. I just want to also add, you notice in our list there we have adjectives as well. It's not just for nouns. You can add detail and expand, and we're gonna be going into expansion in a minute in our next task. Speaking of that, let's take it to the board. Back to the board and you can see straight away we have another list here. Let's read it. I have visited many places all over the world. Main clause and a colon works to introduce the list. Then we've got Paris, comma, France, comma, New York, comma, USA, comma, Dublin, comma, Ireland, comma, Amsterdam, comma, Netherlands, comma, Berlin, comma, Germany, comma, Athens, comma, Greece and Larnaca, comma, Cyprus. Right, so we've got our commas in there to separate things. The problem here is 
Some of those things need to be grouped together because Paris and France, Paris is a city, France is the country. I want to keep them together by having the comma between them and the comma between New York, everything becomes separated. So how do I do this? Well, if we have a look now, I can also use something called a semicolon, which is a dot and a comma underneath it. And you can see how it helps group things together. Now it reads, I have visited many places all over the world, colon to introduce the list, Paris, which is our city, comma, France, that's our country, and now we have our semicolon to separate those guys between from New York, comma, USA, semicolon, Dublin, comma, Ireland. So we can use a semicolon and a comma in more complicated lists when we need to group things together but also have commas too. This is a great technique to learn to take your list to the next level, especially when you're getting into details about a character or a setting and so on. Cool? Tricky one, I'm telling you. But you've got this. It's time for the second mic check. Time for mic check two, and I won't lie, this is a tricky one, so pay attention as I read this. Creating this unique and cool approach to learning has involved a wonderful team of people, Leon Production and Graphic Design, the Grammar Gang, our crowd and crew, Yuval, Musical Talent and Composition, Uncle Chris, Management and Design, and the Encanta Talent Team, Direction and Guidance. Add that colon after the first main clause, put the commas in and group those items using the semicolons. Now I'm going to give you around about 90 seconds to have a go at this one and then we'll review the answers afterwards. Good luck, off you go. And here are the answers. So let's take a look at this in a little bit more detail. So we've got creating this unique and cool approach to learning has involved a wonderful team of people. That is our complete thought there. We're gonna have our colon to introduce our list. Leon, comma, and now we're gonna group what he does, which is production and graphic design, semicolon. The grammar gang, you guys, Comma, our crowd and crew, because you are, you are crowd, you, you join us for the lessons, I know you're also part of our crew. Got a semicolon there. Yuval, he's the man who makes the music. All those cool beats, thank you Yuval for that. Comma, musical talent and composition. Then we've got another semicolon, Uncle Chris, my manager. 
comma management and design and then you've got our semicolon there and the Encanta talent team that's my agent all the Encanta crew shout out to you guys we've got the comma what do they do there amazing direction and guidance for the whole MC grammar brand and concept and we finish it by full stop there right that was a tough one and you can see how there's different levels here when you use a comma just for separation, we have a simple list, we've got the Oxford comma, and then using commas in conjunction with semicolons, and also that colon to introduce a list. So there's great challenge at all levels there. Hope you enjoyed that one. It's time for the main event, the Grand Slam. There's no picture on our Grand Slam this week. Why is that? Because I want you to be free. I want you to think of or write about whatever it is you want to write about. Now you might go and source your own picture or watch a movie or read a book or get outside or relate it to an experience. It's totally up to you. This week's Gram Slam task is about writing. Just be free as it reads there. Just write, choose something, someone, somewhere and just be free. Let your mind travel and then let your pen, pencil do the talking or the walking. Question though. Can you include an example from the wish list there? We've got a simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, a relative clause, inverted commas, a list using commas, this lesson, personification, or a simile. Now, can you include more than one example? Can you include two, three, four? Can you include all of them? If you need a reminder, remember you can watch all of the lessons on our channel to have a review about each of those cool tools right there. So this week's Grand Slam is your time to shine. Write a story, write a report, whatever it is. A poem, we don't mind, but can you include some of those examples from our wish list? Why? Because we want to read your writing. You get your name on here, the Grammar Gang Wall of Fame. Check that out right there. We have another competition coming up as well. When we, when we reach 5,000 subscribers, we're close. Are we, Leon? How many are now? 2,600. Yeah, we're close. We're going to give away five more of these hats. So make sure you send your work to us with your parent or guardian's permission to the social account, hello at mcgrammarshow.com. Complete your Gram Slam task, download it. It's in the link below me right now in the description. Download it, send it to us. It could be an email, it could be a picture. You can just type it up, whatever works for you. We wanna see your work. Send it to hello at mcgrammarshow.com and follow us on our socials at Mr. MC Grammar. Right, I've had a great time working with you again. It's been a fabulous lesson. Can't wait to see you all on our Thursday shout out show to showcase your wonderful work. Right, I'm gonna say stay home, stay safe. Leon's gonna say keep reading. I'm gonna say keep rapping. Let's finish the lesson with the song we started with. This is the comma for a list song. Let's go. Whenever I write a list, I know that I must use this to separate what exists. What is it? Say it loud, do it now. It's a comma. Whenever I write a list, I know that I must use this to separate what exists. What is it? Say it loud, do it now. It's a comma. Let's dance. Stop. Comma. Left foot. Comma. Right foot. Comma. Crisscross comma, jump back comma, hands up comma, turn around and finish how you wanna go again. Stop comma, left foot comma, right foot comma, crisscross comma, jump back comma, hands up comma, turn around and finish how you wanna go again. Whenever I write a list, I know that I must use this to separate what exists. What is it? Say it loud. It's a comma.